awesomely blossomy people out there. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nirupama and I hope you all are doing great. Well, in today's video, we are going to talk about first impression. Yes. So now whenever we meet someone for the very first time, we want them to like us. We want them to say good things about us. We want to make a great first impression, especially when you're going for an interview or a conference or any formal event. You don't want to make any mistakes. You don't want people to think that you are underconfident or that you are not capable enough or XYZ. So in this video, I will be talking about certain things which you should keep in mind whenever you're meeting someone for the very first time in order to create a great first impression. So are you ready? Are you excited to know about it? Let's get started. Number one has to be grooming. Now, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is. You know, it is very important to look good, to look put together. Now, they say that, you know, you should not judge a book by its cover. But unfortunately, that's how things are. You know, whenever you see a person for the very first time, within three to five seconds, you create the first impression. And let me tell you, friends, you don't get a second chance to create the first impression. So grooming is, of course, all about appearance, how you are dressed up, how you're looking, what clothes to wear, how you're supposed to do your hair, makeup, what accessories to wear. And for boys, of course, clean shave, short hair, again, what colors to wear, what, ki what kind of shoes to wear. So it is all about that. Now, for that, I have already made a separate video, a detailed video about grooming, male grooming and female grooming. So I will link it over here. You can click it and you can watch it. If you haven't watched already, grooming is very important. Now, that shows that how important the event is for you. If you're going for the interview and you just can't go just like that in your pajamas or maybe sneakers and a hoodie and, you know, did not even comb your hair properly. You can't just go like that. You have to make sure that you... Take out time to select their clothes, to iron properly and to take shower and to make your hair properly. Make sure if you're doing your makeup, it has to be minimum, not too over the top. And the accessory, keep it very minimum. And you know, basically dress as per the occasion. For example, you will not go to a wedding wearing a business suit. Same way as you can't go for a meeting wearing a patiala suit. You know what I'm trying to say? So dress as per the occasion, that is very important. And when you put in effort, people can see it. It is not just about looking good, but that makes the other person feel that you are really excited about the event. Whether it's about meeting someone or... All right. So whether it's about meeting someone for the very first time or going for an interview or going for some important meeting or seminar. You understand what I'm trying to say? I'll give you my example. When I'm not, a lot of times I also don't put in a lot of effort in how I'm looking because I'm not excited for going to that particular place. But I have to because I have no other option. So that shows my intention that am I excited about it or am I just like going because I have to attend the meeting or I have to attend this particular event. So that shows your intentions also. So please make sure that you take out time, put in the extra effort to look presentable, put together. Be punctual. Very, very, very important. Don't be late. But it's such a turn off for anyone. If you have to go to a meeting, if you have to time, if you have to go to a meeting, if you have to go to a meeting, otherwise also, if you are going to meet a person and you of course, you decide a time and you both decide a time that, okay, if I'm free, okay, you are also free, let's meet. Now, if you are late, then there is a little impression of the possibility of getting up. And it will Nobody likes to wait. And especially for a person whom you don't know. So, please make sure you are not late. You are on time. Before time, I would say that. If you want to create a great first impression. Now we have greetings because of course you are looking all nice and proper. So now of course you are going to meet a person, you are going to greet a person first. So for that you are going to extend your hand and you are going to do the handshake. Now irrespective of your gender, whether you are a male or female, anybody can initiate their handshake. It's not that only females will initiate or men will initiate. It could be anyone. So please don't hesitate to extend the handshake, to initiate the handshake. Now, when you shake hands with the person, I'm so sorry about the background noise, but I know you're very cooperative, you're very understanding people. Just focus on what I'm saying. That is very important, okay? So now when you do the handshake, make sure you do a firm handshake, okay? Not a lousy one. No, this, uh, 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 yes, uh. 
please make sure it has to be a proper handshake, a firm handshake. So basically, if you see this part of your hands, it should meet like this when you meet, shake hands with a person. Now, that should last for three to four seconds at least. It's not like you have a handshake and then you have a You know, you're not in hurry. You especially you have come to meet that person. So make sure you shake the hands properly. All right. And that should last for three to four seconds that I have told you. Also, it has to be a firm handshake because that shows your confidence. If you have done such a handshake, so then that will show maybe you are underconfident or maybe you are overconfident or maybe you are not interested. You know, your handshake even can say a lot about what you think about the entire event. So please make sure you come across as a confident person, but not an overconfident person. You don't want to dominate the other person with your handshake. So don't make sure that you don't want to do the crush of your hand. Do it easily. Do it easily. But then that has to be a firm handshake. And that goes for both for male and female. So it doesn't mean if you are a girl, you're going to handshake like this. No, do a proper handshake. That is very, very important. It is part of your body language, which is a non-verbal way of communication. And if you want to know more about the body language, I have made a detailed video about that as well, which is up on my channel. So I will leave the link over here. Just click and watch it. Now that was about the handshake. And also when while you're doing the handshake, you can introduce yourself also. For example, I am meeting someone for the very first time. So I would say, hello, I'm meeting, I'm meeting Rahul. Okay. So hello, Rahul, my name is Nirupama. So while I'm shaking hands with the person, I can say my name also. And then, you know, vice versa. So yeah, so it, do make sure that it, it, is, it lasts for a long time, but not a very long time that it's got a hand. You know, your people are not lovers. It's just a normal meeting. So please. There has to be a proper handshake, but it should not last forever. So that you have to make sure. Another thing, you need to have a beautiful smile on your face because that shows warm. That shows that you are happy to be there. You are happy to meet the person. So please make sure you have a smile on your face. That is again part of your body language. So body language is basically your gestures and your facial expressions. So handshake comes under your uh, gestures and smile of course your expression so that says a lot about that so make sure you have a beautiful smile on your face when you meet someone for the very first time another thing which is very important is to maintain the eye contact imagine i'm meeting um, i'm <laughs> i'm doing the handshake and you're like hi i'm nirupama so if maybe i'm too shy that shows or maybe i'm not interested or maybe I don't know what, you know, so I want to come across as a confident individual that this is how I will create a good impression. That is how people will be like, otherwise nobody wants to meet me again. If I come across as a very underconfident person or a person who's too shy or doesn't want to talk much because these uh, I because these expression says that only so I make sure that I maintain the eye contact now you don't have to drill into the eyes like do that look into the eyes but you can look at the face of the person just look at the face do the handshake smile introduce yourself and that's how you greet a person another thing which I want to tell you let's say somebody comes to meet you you are sitting in your cabin nicely doing your work now when someone comes it's a good habit if you stand up and do the handshake and then sit down. I've seen a lot of time whenever you go in the cabin and you like, hello, hi, my name is Arupama. They are nicely sitting on the chair. So I don't know what it is about the chivalry. There is no chivalry. Right? So please make sure if it is a formal setup. If you don't have to or your Tauji or your friends, but it is a formal setup. So when you're addressing a person, so you will address them of course, with their name, you will not say sir, ma'am, because that is not very formal, uh, not very corporate types. So you will, of course, uh, address them with their name, but preferably with their last name. So let's say my name is Nirupama Kukreti. So you will address me with my last name. Now you will not say hello Kukreti. You will not say that. There has to be a title with that, which is Miss, Mrs, Mr. Okay, so you will... Preferably, you should say Miss Kukreti because you don't know whether I'm married or I'm not married and you should not assume things, okay? You will address me with Miss Kukreti. You know, that's how it should be. So when you know the person's name, so then I'm saying in that case, this is how you're supposed to address the other person. 
Got it? Another thing which comes under body language is your body posture. So make sure you stand straight, tall, okay, upright. Your back should be upright. Should not be, should not be slouching. Hello, my name is Nirupama. <laughs> How does it look? It does look, it just, it looks that I'm very tired and I don't want to be here. Or maybe I'm so nervous. I don't know why am I, why am I here? You know, so all of these things counts. People come to know what you're thinking. A lot of times it happens, right? If you're going like this and you're going like this and you're going like this, people will ask you, are you okay? Are you not feeling well? Are you tired? Because you didn't you didn't go and tell them that, oh, I had a, such a busy, tiring day. No, but with your body language, they came to know and they, they then they, out of concern, they come and they ask you. So please make sure that you don't want to throw that impression on the other person that you are very exhausted and it is just the argument here. So please make sure, again, see all of these things which I'm telling you shows your confidence and you want to come across as a confident individual, especially when you're going for an interview because I don't want to hire someone who's underconfident, as simple as that. Now, when you meet someone, so the, a lot of what happens is that when you meet a stranger, so of course, not necessarily that you are an extrovert or you're a talkative person like me. Even I feel uncomfortable when I meet someone for the very first time. So it happens with all of us. But you can try to be the icebreaker. You can initiate the conversation because there's a reason why you are there, right? So you should not be like sitting like a bhundu and like wait. Hmm, yeah. And don't, don't have close conversations. What I mean is that when somebody says something to you, so don't answer with yes or no. You know, if somebody says that, okay, weather is nice. Hmm, yes, it is. Aage. You can say, yeah, it is nice. Even yesterday, it was really pleasant. Then this is this is how you have a conversation. So make sure uh, the question what you ask, open questions. And the conversation what you have, it's like, don't, don't just answer like yes or no. Because that restricts. Then it becomes very difficult for the other person to have a conversation with you. Because you just have yes or no to say. So please make sure, try to be more interesting. Okay. And uh, try to have a good conversation. All right. So person feels like talking to you or you know something interesting have a have an interesting conversation it's all what i'm saying at least try it put an effort is all what i'm saying another thing which is there is to be a good listener so of course baat karna bahut zaruri hai but kisi ki baat sunna utna hi zaruri hai i am a very talkative person i take all the responsibility for that but i am a good listener also अगर मुझे कोई अपनी बात बता रहा है तो आई लिसन ओके आई एम नॉट अ काइंड ऑफ पर्सन दैट आई विल नॉट लेट यू स्पीक आई लाइक या 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 नो नो बट लिसन टू मी लिसन टू मी डोंट डू दैट पीपल डोंट लाइक टू बी अराउंड सच पीपल पीपल वांट समवन टू लिसन टू देम दे डोंट वांट टू बी अ पर्सन जो अपनी ही कथा सुनाया जा रहा है सुनाया जा रहा है सुनाया जा रहा है Please understand that a person also has something to share. It is very disrespectful when you don't allow the other person to speak or when you interrupt. Oh my God, I get so irritated when never someone interrupts when I talk because I don't do that. So I don't like that. Okay. So never interrupt and allow the other person to speak. Trust you me, you will realize that you have not spoken a single word, but just because you were listening to that person, just because of that, the person end up liking you. So you know what you do you you had you you had to do nothing but it was just you were a patient listener and when I say listen to a person doesn't mean that you're sipping your coffee and looking somewhere else and you're like hmm, I'm not interesting looking at the watch no look at the person and the expression says a lot that if it is something exciting which the person is saying oh really then your expression should say like that if it is something sad oh that's sad your expression should so that's like that's what I was saying that you know it's fifty five person is your body language. Then 38% is your tone and 7% is the words what you speak. Yesterday only I taught this to my students. That's why I exactly remember the exact figures. But what I'm trying to say here is that please look interested. Look that you are into the conversation. Don't look disinterested. People will not like you. Okay. And if you want to again create a good first impression, you have to look interested into the conversation. Don't whine about things. Like when you're meeting for the first time, don't start whining about things that, oh, ye kharaab hai. traffic, itna traffic tha, oh, ho, mein toh dimaag kharaab ho gaya. I know we all do that. I must have done that also. But then, there I'm not actually putting an effort. Then I don't care whether the person likes me or don't, or don't, I really don't care about it. But where I want to create a good impression, I would put in a conscious effort that I don't start whining or nagging or cribbing about things, okay? You want to come across as a positive individual. You had a bad day, the other person doesn't know. 
this is the first time I'm meeting you. So whatever you say, whatever conversation you start having with me, I will take you, I will analyze you and I will judge you on that basis only. So I don't know that you guys are in the year 364 days आप कैसे रहते हो? आज के दिन आप मेरे साथ कैसे हो? मैं उसके बेसिस पे आपको जज करने वाली हूँ। So please try to come across as the positive individual which you are. So don't nag if you there is a problem. Keep it aside and you know start it fresh and start having a good conversation. Not like you know यार मैं अपनी ज़िंदगी से कितनी दुखी हूँ. Nobody wants to know. Trust me. And then comes your confidence. Confidence is very 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 important. Okay, you need to be confident in your skin. Just be yourself. You don't have to pretend to be someone else. These things which I'm telling you, you are the, this person. So I'm not telling you to be someone else, you know, when you meet a person. But I'm just telling you to be comfortable in your skin and just to show that how happy you are to be there. Okay, and just be yourself. And that's the way to go. Also, last thing which I want to tell you is uh, treat people the way you want to be treated. All right. So, if you don't like something, so you make sure that that thing you don't do with others. Do you understand? Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you like this video. I hope you find this helpful. And yeah, if you do, please like this video, share and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you in my next one. Take care.